Hello folks, thanks to Gareth. I'm still living in Pedaland. I uh, got my old Stratocaster through the high uh, input on the Champ, which is just nearby, just over there. Uh, uh, the volume's at 6. This I need not remind you, I'm sure, is 6 out of 12, not 6 out of 10. Um, this is the Blue Sky Reverberator from Strymon. Um, I don't have the book of words. I'm just going to tell you what I've found by playing with it over the last couple of days. We've got uh, a type switch for different types of reverb. Plate, room and spring. Spring reverb is probably the one that will be most familiar to, to guitar players because of classic amps like deluxe reverbs and twin reverbs. The decay control basically gives you uh, how big the reverb is from, you know, smallish to very large plates, from smallish to extremely big rooms, and from short to very long springs. The mix uh, is how much reverb is set against how much dry signal. At 3 o'clock the mix is 50-50. You can go from all reverb, which is stupid to completely dry which is a waste of time. We're starting maxed here and 50-50 here so that we can hear exactly what's going on and the plate reverb sounds like this quite funny you can hear the walls <laughs> closing in from the cathedral the next control that's most useful initially for setting up is this pre-delay if I give you a short sharp you can hear the reverb come in all over the note straight away. This will give you a little bit of breathing space. You can hear the reverb kind of bloom in afterwards. And it helps to prevent, it helps to sort of separate the, the note itself out, uh, the note itself, to separate it out from the reverb that's coming after it. So we put that in the middle for uh, a happy medium. Low damp and high damp are things that you could play with when you're getting nearer to setting up your final sound. Basically counterclockwise, they're both in their most controlling modes. Low damp, clockwise, will allow goodness me a lot of low low uh, frequency guff and high damp the same under control now but that introduces a lot of and indeed in spring <laughs> it sounds quite springy um, go back to room again modes in normal we go to modulation give you a sort of chorus effect 
not on the original note but on the reverb <laughs> through this to get to shimmer shimmer is just amazing it adds a sort of weird synth pad arpeggiated oddity to the reverb we're still in room everything's kind of maxed out except for these damping things are quite controlled the shimmer is extraordinary <laughs> Sounds kind of springy. It's an amazing sound. And you think, you know, there are pedals that make you want to sort of play. You play with echo units and it, it makes you want to play because they sort of speak back to you. Reverbs are usually just you know, they're, they're there to do a job, which is to make you sit more comfortably in your surroundings. It's quite rare for a reverb to, to, to actually talk back to you and come back with something that makes you want to take it a step further and, you know, get a conversation going. <laughs> Amazing fun. Blue Sky Reverberator from Strymon. 
get down to your local guitar shop and drive those guys behind the counter crazy because once you plug this in you'll be there all day okay i'll see you all soon thanks for watching bye now